found the best barber in Bangkok. I'm about to get a haircut right now because my haircut. Um, I just got one last week, but it's kind of um, bad right now. So let's see. G Club. Okay, guys. So I just got a fantastic haircut at a G Club Barbershop. Uh, the best barbershop in Bangkok. So definitely an appointment with my good friend Leo here. Um, I'll get you guys right. All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, 800? Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. Hi <laughs> right, guys, so I just got amazing haircut. As I was walking, I saw like this mango um, sand. I love mango, so I'm gonna go check that out. I think it's like a restaurant, but we'll see. Hey guys, so I just got my uh, mango. Um, as I was getting my mango, uh, there's this lady that was like begging for money, so I just gave her like a um, hundred baht. Uh, that's like around like three dollars or so. Um, it's not a lot in the U.S., but it can go like a long way here. Um, <laughs> and then as I was buying my mango, she had that audacity to ask me to buy her some too. And I'm like, I just gave you some money. So this mango so good um, I've noticed here in Thailand um, the fruit it just tastes better um, I'm guessing because since this is like a tropical place right um, a lot of the fruit is just like grown here all the fruit here is fresh um, this fruit tastes so good like everything I try fantastic <laughs> What's up guys, so I'm at the Asiatic Market. I have no idea what this place is. Someone just told me to go. So here I am. I'm gonna explore and see what's going on. Alright guys, I got another coconut smoothie. These are starting to be my favorite. I love them. So apparently the tour on this boat is free to get to the actual floating market. Okay, so now I'm taking another boat to Icon CM. Maybe this is where the floating market's at. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> it's going on a random tour now, apparently. Alright guys, so now I'm at Icon Siam, so... I don't even know where I'm going. I thought I was going to put my good, but I guess not. This mall is so ridiculously huge. I went up like three uh, like escalators. It just keeps going. Oh, damn. Look at this shit. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, Nike and Icon Siam Bangkok has no drip. Okay, so I finally found out how to get to the floating market. Uh, it's just like the very bottom floor, basically. Yeah, pretty much tastes like chicken, I guess. Yo guys, I hope you liked that video. Uh, definitely check out G Club Barbershop. You know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to find a good barber in Thailand, but they have, you know, fantastic barbers. For, you know, a haircut and beard, they charge like 800 baht. Um, I think that's like $23. And then for just a haircut, it's like 600 baht. So I think that's like $20, right? So I usually pay like $50 per haircut. Um, so 
you know, I got like a similar quality haircut in that place. So they definitely have amazing barbers. Um, so definitely check them out, G Club in Bangkok, just a pro tip. If you're using Grab to get there, G Club Barbershop is not gonna show up. So just type in Little Italy Bangkok. Um, it's like a restaurant or something, like right across the street from G Club Barbershop. Um, you can type that in and then just like walk across the street so your driver doesn't drop you off in the wrong place or get lost or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Um, if so, drop a like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And as always, keep dreaming while you're awake. Peace. You ever wonder what it feels like when dreams bleed in the real life? Seen scenes from TV get realized. Palm trees, a soft breeze, and chilled ice, till ties, wash away our problems in the spill wine.